Have you ever walked across a lawn or through a forest? Have you ever noticed a small mound of earth bustling with tiny scurrying creatures? This is an anthill. From our great height it seems so small, so insignificant. But what if we could shrink? What if we could become as small as a single grain of sand? If we could, we would witness one of nature's greatest marvels. We would find ourselves at the gateway to a sprawling subterranean city, a metropolis teeming with life, purpose, and extraordinary complexity. This is not a city of humans. This is a city built by ants. Imagine descending into the darkness. The world above fades away. We are now in a realm of tunnels and chambers, all carved from the soil itself. The air is thick with the scent of damp earth and strange chemical signals. All around us, countless bodies move with relentless energy. They are the citizens of this underground world. The scale of an ant colony is simply staggering. A mature colony can be home to hundreds of thousands or even millions. Some super colonies formed by multiple interconnected nests have been known to contain billions of ants and can stretch across continents. They represent one of the greatest concentrations of animal life on the planet. Ant nests or formicaries are masterpieces of engineering, more than random burrows. The tunnels are sculptural and designed to regulate temperature and humidity. They control the flow of air, ensuring the colony can breathe. Deeper chambers remain cool while upper chambers warm by the sun. This creates ideal incubators for their young. Ants constantly modify and expand their home to fit seasonal needs. By pouring plaster or molten metal into abandoned nests and excavating, scientists reveal the true complexity, branching mazes like metallic trees. The casts look like abstract sculptures and show shafts that plunge many meters into earth. They show deliberate, intelligent design, a fortress protecting against predators, weather, rivals, floods, and fire. Ants even build emergency exits and floodgates to protect the colony. It is a self-sustaining world complete with everything the colony needs to survive. Within the bustling metropolis of the ant colony, there is a remarkable sense of order. This is not chaos. This is a highly structured society. There are typically three main castes. The queen, the soldiers, the workers. Each caste is physically adapted for its duties. Their bodies, behaviors, and lives are dedicated to particular tasks. Soldiers are the defenders of the realm, often larger and armed with formidable mandibles. Some plug entrances like living doors. Their lives can be short and violent, necessary sacrifice for the colony. Workers are the most numerous caste, sterile females who are the lifeblood of the colony. They build, excavate, forage, nurse, clean, and maintain every aspect of colony life. Roles often change with age. Younger workers stay inside as nurses, older workers forage outside, Nurses care for eggs, larvae, and pupae, feeding and grooming the young. Other workers are sanitation crews, carrying away waste and corpses to middens to prevent disease. The colony acts as a single superorganism, each cast like an organ performing a vital function. Together, they create a whole far greater than the sum of its parts, resilient and productive. At the very heart of the ant colony, hidden deep within the most protected chamber, resides the queen. She is the founder and the mother of every single ant in the city. Her life begins as a princess with wings. On a warm, humid day, she and many others take to the air. This synchronized nuptial flight fills the sky where she mates with males, storing enough sperm to last a lifetime. After the flight she lands, breaks off her wings, and searches for a place to start a new kingdom. She excavates a small chamber, seals herself inside, and lays her first eggs. During this vulnerable period, she does not eat, surviving by metabolizing her wing muscles, dedicating all energy to her first children. The first generation of workers are small and weak but crucial. Once mature, they take over the work of the colony. From then on, the queen's one job is to lay eggs, often thousands, while workers feed and groom her and carry eggs to nurseries. Her abdomen swells. She may live for many years, sometimes over a decade, and her health determines the colony's fate. If the queen dies with no replacement, the workers continue for a time but, with no new generations, the colony will slowly fade away. She is not a ruler in the human sense. She is the reproductive engine whose chemical signals unite the colony. The workers are the true heroes of the ant world. They build, maintain, and sustain the entire colony. Young workers often start inside as nurses, cleaning, feeding, and tending eggs, larvae, and pupae. They feed helpless larvae often with regurgitated food from their social stomachs. 
As they age, they graduate to maintenance, reinforcing walls, excavating new tunnels, clearing debris. Specialist sanitation workers carry away corpses and waste to middens, never to return to clean zones. Older workers take on foraging, navigating hostile terrain, avoiding predators, and locating food. When a worker finds a resource, she will carry pieces many times her own weight back to the nest. A life of constant labor, nursing, building, and foraging, the worker is a master of all trades. Without their relentless efforts, the great underground city would crumble. Their tireless labor sustains a civilization built on cooperation and sacrifice. The construction of an ant nest is a breathtaking feat of collaborative engineering. There is no blueprint. It emerges from the coordinated actions of thousands of individuals. Each worker follows simple rules. Dig here, carry this grain there. Repeated, these create immense complexity. The result is architecture of immense sophistication. They reshape the landscape on a miniature scale creating homes tailored to their environment. Chambers are placed to regulate temperature, humidity, and ventilation. Leafcutter ants practice agriculture, carrying leaves not to eat but to grow fungus. They chew leaves, mix with saliva and waste, and cultivate fungal gardens that feed the colony. In a city of millions, sanitation is vital. Designated waste chambers and undertakers prevent disease. Some workers specialize for life in refuse areas, sacrificing themselves for the colony. Tunnels and chambers are positioned for ventilation. The nest is a regulated environment. Gardens are tended and waste efficiently removed, all without central command. Simple rules followed by many produce complex, intelligent behavior, order from chaos. The dark, silent world of the ant nest is, in fact, alive with conversation. Ants do not speak with sounds as we do. Instead, they communicate through a rich language of chemicals called pheromones. An ant's body produces many pheromones, for food, danger, and identity. A forager finds food and returns to the nest, leaving a faint pheromone trail like breadcrumbs. Other workers detect the trail with antennae. More ants reinforce it, creating an efficient system. If the food runs out, ants stop laying the trail and the chemical signal evaporates. Communication also happens through direct contact, antennae touch, a greeting and ID check. Alarm pheromones warn of danger. Colony chemical signatures prevent intruders from entering unchallenged. They share food via trophallaxis, transferring chemical information about colony health and needs. This chemical flow allows collective decision-making across the colony. Trail strength acts like a vote. Scouts lay trails to new sites. The colony selects popular options without a leader. A decentralized chemical brain spread across a city. The study of ants is not just curiosity. These tiny insects are powerful teachers. From robotics to logistics, Engineers study ants to design algorithms and swarm systems. The rule-based logic ants use to find the shortest path inspired computer algorithms used to optimize delivery routes and data traffic. These ideas now help manage internet traffic and logistics networks. Swarms of simple robots follow basic rules. Through interaction, they accomplish complex tasks without central control. Beyond technology, ants are ecosystem engineers, tiny farmers and gardeners that aerate soil and disperse seeds. Their tunneling improves soil quality, helping water and nutrients reach plant roots. Many ants are predators of agricultural pests, providing natural pest control. Understanding these interactions is crucial for conserving ecosystems and agricultural health. Ants remind us that the smallest creatures can profoundly affect the world around them. Curiosity about the smallest things often sparks the greatest discoveries. We have journeyed deep into the world of the ant, we have seen vast subterranean cities and uncovered chemical secrets. For all we have learned, much remains a mystery. How do they coordinate with such precision? How do they navigate so accurately? Scientists still probe their chemical conversations and navigation systems. That humble mound is a gateway to questions and undiscovered complexity. Entire universes of complexity live right beneath our feet, waiting to be explored. Their success is not individual brilliance, but collective power bridges, rafts, living tools built by many. It is humbling. Other forms of intelligence and ways of living exist on this planet. So next time you see an ant, pause. Think of the hidden city below and the millions of lives unfolding in the dark. Think of the nurses, the soldiers, the farmers, the engineers. Let it spark your curiosity. The story of the ant is far from over. There are still secrets buried in the earth waiting to be uncovered. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to keep exploring nature's secrets with us.